Well, this year's Mira Award winner in the large enterprise of the year category, Indianapolis-based Republic Airways, uh, an airline that, uh, like all uh, airlines in this uh, pandemic era, facing some uh, serious challenges, but a company, an organization using technology and innovation uh, to really move forward. And I'm pleased to be joined by Narav Shah. Narav is Vice President of Information Technology at Republic. Uh, Narav, welcome and congratulations. Hey, thank you very much, Gary, for having me on the show. I really appreciate it, and thanks for the, thanks for the congratulations. Yeah, you know, uh, interesting. I know Republic, of course, views itself as an airline, as a transportation company, but moreover, not as much a transportation company as a technology and an innovation company. Uh, how so? Absolutely. I think we changed. We, we made a pivot around probably three to five years ago where we decided that, hey, technology is here to stay. It's going to really advance us and take us to the next level. So we started focusing more on being a technology company that flies uh, airline across the across the country, across the world. So, uh, you know, our, we were already an efficient airline. We were at 99 percent efficiency for our completion factor perspective. Uh, and for us to move from 99 to 100, even though on paper it's a one point, it's a big, big, big difference for an airline industry, which is which is surrounded with a lot of new essences. So for us to do that efficiently, uh, we we started deploying a lot of great technology across the board. Uh, you know, three fourth of our workforce are remote. They are our frontline employees, like the pilots, like the flight attendants, like the maintenance workers. So uh, just to bring them close to the headquarter here in Indianapolis, we started deploying technology uh, efficiency was gain a lot and we started moving from 99% and closer to the 100% efficiency. Wow. As I look at the airline industry, you know, I view that as obviously a mature, kind of a traditional industry. As you move to that, that tech, that innovation model, how important was it to get buy-in and to create a culture at the airline that would be a, a accepting of, of technology and innovation? Oh, that was key. That was uh, that was absolutely critical for us. I think we were focusing and attracting talent that obviously were using technology uh, in today's day and age uh, in social media, social networks. So they knew that we had to provide them that. When you look into airline industry a few years ago, you had you were carrying those manuals that were huge, huge, right? Uh, and and we 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 deployed iPads and technology that takes all those may paperwork away and have everything that our pilots, our flight attendants need at 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 their finger trip in a matter of seconds. Interesting, the airline industry, uh, aside from the pandemic, is facing some real challenges uh, with talent, uh, with filling uh, pilots in those uh, slots that are going to be, uh, that are and will be open. One of the innovations that Republic has instituted is the Lyft Academy, which is really a big investment on the part of the airline uh, in terms of training that next generation uh, of pilots. Talk about the Lyft Academy and why you view it as important. Uh, Lyft Academy is absolutely critical for our business. You know, this was a $25 million plus investment that Republic decided to make last year. Uh, this was, again, done in association with the workforce development here in Indiana. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's the state-of-the-art technology-focused aviation school that's, that, are going to pre that, are, that are going to prepare the next generation pilots. Uh, and maintenance workers for us. Uh, it's absolutely critical. You know, the airline industry, as we know, uh, is going to be facing shortage in those frontline workers. And Republic, instead of just sitting and waiting for the problem to solve itself, we, we took the first step and created the state-of-the-art uh, school ourselves here in Indianapolis. Final question for you, Narav. Uh, Pre-pandemic, Republic was at close to 1,200 daily flights. I know you're slowly beginning to come back around 200, 200 plus flights now. Are you beginning to see uh, the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel? Oh, absolutely. It, it, uh, the last month has been great. You know, the schedules that we are looking for July and August are looking really, really better than what we had initially expected. Uh, so we do believe we are going to come out of this absolutely stronger. It's our people. It's the passion that we have here at Republic Airways and Lyft Academy that's going to really take us to the next level once we are on the other side of the storm that we are in right now. But yes, you're right, Gary. Uh, light. We are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and we do believe that we are going to come out of this stronger than we ever were. Narav Shah is the Vice President of Information Technology uh, at uh, Republic Airways, the large enterprise of the year, category winner uh, for the Mira Awards, the 2020 uh, Mira Awards. Narav, as always, thanks for joining us. And again, congratulations. Thank you very much, Gary. I appreciate having me on the show. Thank you.